In this lesson, we will dive directly into the course by creating our very first simple project plan. I will start by firing up Microsoft Project. You will see the splash screen briefly while the software loads up. This first screen you see now is called as the backstage and this screen will help you create a new file for your project. A few things to notice about the screens. Firstly, the screen is in two sections. On the right hand side, you will see a lot of boxes which highlight when you move the mouse over them. They are super useful templates that you can use to kickstart your project. On the left hand side of the screen are listed recent files that have been opened earlier. If you are starting project for the very first time, you will not see any files listed here, which is perfectly fine. There is a link called open other projects at the bottom here, which you can use to browse your computer for other locations and open existing files. For this project, we will ignore everything else and create a blank project file. This is the most fundamental and rudimentary option available for you. So just click on the blank project box. Fantastic. So now project has created a blank and empty project file for you on which we will create our schedule. A couple of quick points to note before we proceed. First point, Microsoft project looks pretty intimidating with all its buttons, menus, charts, tables, views and a gazillion options. Whether you are a veteran project manager or just starting out, project can be disorienting for a new user. But nothing to fear, you will very quickly get comfortable with project. This is especially true if you also fire up your own software and follow along with me. The second point, this ribbon interface at the top with its tabbed interface is very similar in usage to other Microsoft Office products like Word or Excel. Also, the table that you see here works very similar to an Excel sheet, which you might already be a little familiar with. These points should give you some familiarity if you are a very first time user. Okay, we will now start with our first exercise. The objective of this exercise is to create a very simple birthday plan. You can download a zip file with the overview, WBS and a project file for this exercise, both in this lesson itself and at the bottom of the course in a separate section. The absolute first thing that I will do before I start is to click on this button here in the status bar called new tasks manually scheduled. I will just click on it and change it over to auto scheduled. You can see now it's changed to auto scheduled. This only means that I am asking project to do its magic when I create my new schedule also. We will look at what manual and auto scheduled means very shortly in much more detail, but for now leave it at that. Under the task name column, start by typing out the first task, select the party venue. Fantastic. And congrats, you have just now created your own very first task. As soon as you write in the task name, you can see Microsoft Project populated a few more columns for this task. The duration, the start and the finished dates in these adjoining columns. The duration you can see has defaulted to one day and the dates have defaulted to today's date. Now, in exactly the same way, I will add one more task, the next task. Make a guest list. Great. So now we have two tasks added to my schedule. Now that we have created two tasks on our new project schedule, we will continue and complete with this exercise in the next video lesson. To recap this lesson, you started with opening project for the very first time and then had a quick look at the backstage screen. You also created your very first project file from a blank 
NFT template. There are other much more powerful ways to create project files. We will see in subsequent lessons. In the next video, we will continue and complete with this exercise. See you soon in the next lesson.